Okay, today uh, we're going to be going over the Caesar Cipher uh, method. So what the Caesar Cipher method does is that it takes a string. Um, the first example, we have ABC and ABC. Um, it'll return a new string uh, that, is, uh, that is a result of each letter in the string shifted by uh, number of shift, the number uh, passed on to the method. So we have uh, the shift is equal to two here. Um, so we're going to take each letter in the string and we will shift uh, by the number of shift that is passed on in the alphabet. So um, here, uh, first, I think we're going to have to come up with an array of alphabet because that's good in that way uh, it helps us to find where each letter in the original string uh, is indexed in the alphabet and then we can easily come up with a new uh, new letter uh, that is shifted by the number of shift that is passed on so say alphabet is equal to from I'm gonna say from a a to Z to string um, this is just uh, not to not to just hard code is equal to we can't we don't want to do a a comma B comma C all the way up to Z because that's too much work and we will um, uh, we will say uh, Caesar for now is equal to empty string and then we'll, here we're gonna have to loop around each each character in the string uh, in order to uh, come up with a new string and that we're gonna save in the Caesar uh, variable Caesar so here we'll do a string that each char do and pipe I'm gonna say it's a letter um, uh, in the first example we have we have uh, a space in the string that is given so we're gonna have to take care of the case where uh, we will be looking at the space so if the letter is equal to space we are just going to append a space else else means if it's a regular letter here we're gonna have to find out where this letter stands in the alphabet so I'm gonna say the old index is equal to alphabet dot find index this is gonna uh, give us the index where uh, the letter is gonna uh, is placed in the alphabet and with that old index let's declare the new index which I'm going to say new index is equal to the old index. We're going to shift thing it by the, the shift that is passed on to. So we're going to just add shift. But here's a very important thing. Let's say we have um, the letter is equal to Z here uh, in this example. So we have letter is equal to Z. And let's say we shift by 1. Where are we going to go? There's nothing after Z here. It's gonna to have to loop around. It's gonna have have to come back to the uh, the the beginning of the array, and it's gonna to have to loop around and click A. Well, if it's two, it's gonna to have to loop around and click B here. So, uh, in order to do this, we're gonna to have to uh, use an operator called modulo. We can modulo this by the number of uh, uh, element in the alphabet, which is 26, but here we're just going to say alphabet dot uh, a length or a count. Uh, so what modulo is is that it return it's going to divide the first number and the second number, and it, it'll return the uh, remainder of uh, of that division. So it easily gives us the it, it easily takes care of when we're going we end. Uh, in the array uh, alphabet and then we have to loop around and then start with the first one when when the number is greater than the alphabet uh, count so here we have the new index and let's say the uh, new letter finally is equal to um, alphabet in the new index and we're actually gonna just uh, simply add that in the Caesar uh, string and that ends the loop and finally we will 
return the Caesar string, the result string that, uh, that's going to be returned after the method is being executed. So yeah, um, that looks good to me. Uh, let's test this. So let's go to prime. I will load Caesar cipher dot rb. Uh oh oh. Don't forget to comment this part. Of course. I'll load it again. Yep. Cool. Okay. Let's first try the first example. Uh oh. Find index to the show. I did the to string. Let's do this again. Cool. Uh, we got CDE, CDE. So let's do a case where it's going to be, it's the shift is actually greater than the alphabet count. So if we do this, actually what it, what it will do is when you shift by 26, it'll actually come back to the original uh, letter. And then that and there after 26, 27th and 28th, will actually be the first, will, will be the same as the first and the second shift. So here, it'll also add a CDE. Cool, like, so if we do like Z and one, obviously it's gonna have to loop around and come back to one, which is the first element in the alphabet. So it'll come up with the A. Cool, so this one works. Um, so here, the most important part that um, everybody has to have to understand is that we're gonna have to actually use the module operator uh, to take care of the case where um, when 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 we hit the last element of the alphabet, we're gonna have to loop around and come back to the first. So the module element, uh, module operator will take care of that. So yeah, um, that's it for me. And I'll see you next time.